A Mercedes driver this week set a new record for compensation paid to road accident victims. As a court has yet to decide his fate for drunk driving and causing the death of a husband and wife when he left their daughter also hospitalised, he's paid 45 million baht to the remaining children of the couple who will now no longer pursue legal proceedings themselves. The nephew of a kidnapped victim who, along with his pal, took the woman and held her for ransom, will be jailed for 15 years. He was sentenced this week. The court heard that he admitted kidnapping his own aunt and demanding three million baht ransom from his own cousins. A reminder that there are two no-alcohol days this month. They're the 16th and 17th. The 48-hour ban results from the traditional no-alcohol days as Thailand celebrates the start of Buddhist Lent and Asana Bucha Day. A German who lived in the north of Thailand here with his wife and was featured in media helping her with a simple existence of selling barbecue chicken a few months ago has been arrested, but not for selling chicken. It seems that the praise he received in social media was duly noted by his embassy and also immigration police. Together they made checks only to find that he was wanted back in Europe on charges involving drug dealing and child pornography. As police tried to arrest him, he fled to a local jungle, but finally came out and agreed to be taken into custody. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, on Third Road, three bars were found to be open after licensing hours. All popular with mainly Thai clientele, two o'clock in the morning raids discovered booze on sale, and in a few cases, underage drinkers. Some customers failed drug tests too, and the bar owners face heavy fines. A British man passed away last night at the cinema in the city. It seems that the 78-year-old took in a movie, but died at some time while the lights were dim. It's standard procedure here for non-Thais who don't die in a hospital to be sent to Bangkok for a post-mortem, but no foul play is suspected. Alwayspatio.com today has different offers and savings for you, as it does every day. For the latest news, TV, radio, what's on and more, visit alwayspatia.com. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 33, dropping down to 31, and an overcast day. That is the latest local and national news from Fabulous 103. Keeping you in touch with Thailand, and of course Patia, the city of fun.